interaction with others as an individual, isolated from the shelter of the family and clan, socializing, not as an extension of a family group, but as an individual for the first time. 20 years of development crammed into one moment. One feels both liberated and constrained, since all context has been removed. One is simultaneously more self-conscious and less confident, and at the same time more open. Things were now starting afresh. One had to really learn everything. Part eager to explore other avenues, open and ready, another part cling desperately to memories of home. Food is a primeval comfort, perhaps filling for the primal nature of the experience one undergoes. Could it be that it isn't about memories after all, but the feelings those memories elicit, like emotional treasure, stores deep in the subconscious? I think it's about having to find your own identity and your own strengths. The achievement of your parents and family doesn't really matter. Uh, if you would imagine suddenly having to discover yourself all at once, well, in one moment, that's kind of what a first-year university student has to do. Any supporting structure must, of course, have rigidity. For better or worse, you carry a family with you in your consciousness. You carry your background with you. Now, an ungrateful person might say it's restrictive, you know, that it ties you in. But the thing is, just remember, you know, the plant that grows the tallest, it's not that malleable shrub, it's that rigid, mighty redwood. And that's how I'd like to approach it. I gave a test, I think one pass was two pass didn't happen, but now there are two or three chances, and I'm doing a good practice. You should pass every test in the first place. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. नहीं मैं अब मेहनत करूंगा और मैंने बट पहली बार कई लोग कई लोग नहीं कर पाए एक्चुअली काफी मुश्किल था ये अब खुश हो से ठीक है ठीक सर ठीक है और आपके दोस्त दोस्त ठीक है चलो बहुत अच्छा हमारी तरफ से सबको प्यार देना दे दूँगा I don't think Ash will mind me saying this but he is at times a little bit socially awkward I think you'll agree but with Ash in his character, what really makes that up is that he is so academically intelligent and actually, as a person, he's really so generous and does care, so it completely makes up for any flaws he has and he won't mind me saying that. What do you think, James? Yeah, she was a little bit like a, like a little brother. Like, um, his heart's in the right place, he's a good kid, he's up and coming, he's still learning the tricks of the trade, he's one to watch for 2016. Exposed and isolated, yet yeah, excited. You know, you've got the slate wiped clean, so the possibilities are endless. Of course, if one lives in any place, it's just human nature to put down roots to make oneself comfortable. It's normal rhythm. How fast you do it, I think that's what matters. It can be a bit indeterminate. But I think the biggest challenge is that when you're in a new environment with a slate laid clean, you come face to face with your own potential and you realize I could do so much more, there's so much more to do, so much better that one could be. And I think that comes as a bit of a shock because it's like a massive chasm between illusion and reality. And crossing that chasm is the greatest challenge, I think. The word academic can mean many things. Um, if it's sheer intelligence, he's an extremely intelligent student. Um, I can't dis talk about marks due to confidentiality, but he's right up there. But what I see in Ashwin much more is his ability to link rather difficult concepts into real life situations. And his maturity shines through there. And I'm sure that he'll be extremely useful in his career as a doctor in the future. I suppose I will continue with my two interests, medicine and business. They allow for maximum development in each of the respective strengths. Medicine in terms of strength and depth of personality, business in terms of scope and breadth of self-projection. Each in turn complements the other and leads to a more complete self-actualization. However, if one looks to it, there is no one path. We exist for the sake of existing, and yet within these tight confines of our mortal coils, each of us can realize the ultimate manifestation of ourselves. There's just too much of the world, really, if you think about it, to just fritter it away, just casually chilling and becoming too complacent. I think 
it's probably best if one moves, one challenges oneself, one goes and experiences new things. And I think one of the things that drives me in that regard is the future, or rather the exciting possibilities of the future, the experiences that are yet to enrich me, the good friends that I have not even yet met. And I think that's the way it should be, because if you look at it, life just hurtles by in an instant. And given that life is so short, I think it'd be a grave injustice to just wallow in comfort and sit in one place and relax. Because you just be training security for growth and development. And I think that would be a very unfair trade to live one's life by.